If you're working with Postman mock servers, you know that you can hit a mock endpoint and receive a response. And if I want to edit the response, I can always go to the example under EG and say, instead of blue, I want to return green. And then I also want a different ID. And when I save that example, I can go back to my request. And previously I had blue and 32. And now I can change my response statically. What if I want to emulate some more dynamic behavior? Let's go back to our example. And instead of hard coding and updating our example response, we can actually use the faker library. And the syntax for that is double curly braces, dollar sign. And now I see I can have all these random variables, like let's say random color. Postman will generate a random color using the faker uh, library. And then instead of hard coding an integer, let's go ahead and say random integer. So every time I send this call, Postman will randomly generate a color, randomly generate an integer. So let's save our example. And now when we go back to our call, going to slash colors, previously we had to update the example in order to receive a new mock response. But now when we send, Postman is randomly generating plum 675. Send, randomly generating these variables in the response. Thank you.